Hello and welcome to The Soup Doctor. Today we're going to be demonstrating the chili formula. Now we, we demonstrate three healthy formulas, a broth-based soup, a bean soup, and a chili. Now just as chiropractors have talked about, there's a formula for health, which is eating right, exercising, getting your rest, managing stress, and taking care of your spine and nervous system. There's a, a soup formula. Demonstrating a bell pepper, you want to put it on its end and you want to cut it in half, okay? And that's going to reveal the core, which you want to peel out this way, and you want to take out the ribs. Give it a little tap and get rid of the seeds. You want to lay it skin side down and you want to grab it with your two fingers so that you're cutting through the pepper onto the board. Then you want to turn it sideways and then you're going to dice it that way as well. Now, as far as a long pepper, like this Italian frying pepper, the procedure is the same. You want to cut it long ways in half, and you want to pull the core out, tap out the seeds, and pull out the ribs, All right, like so. This way, you're going to get the most yield out of the pepper, and you're going to have the easiest way to cut it. So again, you want to put your two fingers under against the board, and you want to cut it long ways about four times, and then dice it like so. So what you want to do with a hot pepper, you want to do a similar treatment, but you want to cut it much smaller because somebody gets a bite of a hot pepper, it's going to burn them out. So you want to definitely make this small enough so it's not to make it unpleasant. So what you're going to do is peel these ribs and seeds. Ribs and seeds are where the heat is. So you want to get rid of those. And then what you're going to do is cut it long ways on a smaller scale, just like you did the other pepper, just in very small dice. You always want to start with sweating the onions. Sweating the onions is the base of any good soup, whether it be a bean base, broth base, or a chili in this case. So we're going to start with sweating our onions. So with sweating, you always want to start with a cold pot. All right, you want to put enough oil in the bottom just to cover it. All right, and then you want to put the onions right on in there. Now once you get the onions in there, you want to salt it and pepper it right there. Salt's going to draw out the, the juices of the onion and it's going to start the sweating process. You want to get the, the sugars out of the onion and hit the bottom of the pan and convert into some deeper flavor. Okay. As always, I like to use a paddle and you want to cook them slow. Okay, so now while the onions are sweating, let's talk a little bit about the protein we're going to be using today. Now this is ground turkey. Now you can use ground beef, I don't recommend it. You can use elk, bison, deer, turkey. Any protein that's healthy is going to do. Now, one of the key steps, besides sweating your onions, sweating your peppers before you begin, is browning the meat separately. Right. The reason being is you're not going to get this nice color and texture that you want if you try to brown this on the bottom of that stock pot. Most amateur kitchens have very low BTUs. You don't have enough heat to put a proper amount of color and therefore flavor into the meat. All right. So what I've done is season this with Cajun spice. It's one, one little tip you might like to take there is to season it nicely with some Cajun spice and then grill it off. You could use a broiler. You could use uh, uh, pan searing it, you could put it on the grill outside, but you want to cook it separately before it goes in to the chili. Next thing you want to do is you want to break it up into nice pieces here. So if you brown something in the bottom of a pan, it tends to get very small. So here you can control how big the, the piece of meat is, and that gives you a nice bite in each spoonful there, and it maintains its shape throughout the cooking process. So you just want to kind of break it up into bite-sized pieces. And you can see that you get nice chunks, which are firm texture, very meaty. Okay, You've got flavor, you've got color, you've got texture. And so I can't emphasize enough how important it is to brown your protein separately before putting them into any soup or chili. So now we see the onions have sweat. And when I say sweat, they've kind of gotten translucent and wilted. You can see that they're breaking down. They probably need another minute or so. But once they're ready, then we add the green peppers. And you want to mix them all up. And then you let them sweat or break down and wilt for another five to seven minutes, depending how long it takes, how much heat you got cooking in your pot here. 
Now with any powdered spice, one thing is important. It has to be exposed to fat and heat to release their essential oils. In other words, if you started to make a soup and it was just boiling stock or broth or what have you, and you put these in there, they would release zero flavor. Okay, so if you ever notice that you have a bland uh, chili or a soup or what have you, it's probably because you skipped this step. So once the peppers are done sweating, these ingredients go in, they cook another four or five minutes to really fully release their essential oils, and then the liquids go in afterwards. Huge step. Besides browning your, your protein separately, this is the most important thing to a really good chili. Now, say you're, you, you've put your spices in, you feel it's a little bit light. What you want to do then is on a pan on the side is to heat the spice and toast it in a dry pan before putting it into the liquid if you want to rescue your dish. But if you put the proper amounts in the beginning, you won't have to do that. So the peppers and onions are, have sweat sufficiently. We can see that um, you know, they're starting to wilt. They're, they're releasing some of their essential oils and flavors. And that's important to have a deep, good base of flavor here. So now that that's ready, we're going to add the spices. All right, so we're going to start with the cumin. Cumin is what gives chili that distinct flavor. It's one of my favorite spices and uh, can't, can't say enough good things about it. So a couple tablespoons in there. All right, then we're going to go with the chili powder. And a couple tablespoons in there. And the cayenne, we're going to go a little bit lighter. It's, it can add too much kick. You just want to probably two teaspoons in there. So you can see what's happening there. It's all mixed in. And you want to let it cook for three or four minutes. So now that the spices are cooking in with the onions and peppers, uh, when they're done, we're going to add the liquid ingredients, which today are tomatoes and chicken stock. So the tomatoes go in. I'm using four cans in this 20 quart stock pot. And you want to add some chicken stock. Now what you want to do is put enough stock in to take it to about three quarters full. Now once this is cooked for a while, it all kind of blends together. Then we started adding the proteins and then the, the beans. No need to put them in now. We want this flavor to develop first. This is the base of the chili. Once this flavor is developed, put the proteins in, put the beans in, and let it simmer a little bit longer. Now what you see here is about the six pounds of turkey. We finished cooking the rest of it. And we're gonna add that now. So then after the turkey goes to the beans. And you wanna cook this probably another 45 minutes. You want everything to kind of marry. You let the turkey, the beans, the base of the chili. You wanna reduce it by about two inches. Taste it, see if it's ready to go. After that, it's chili time.